Hey guys, it's your boy Matteleman Gaming here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am doing something very interesting. So I'm going to show you how to make loads of money off of squad building challenges, which is strange, right? Because obviously in squad building challenges, you usually have to spend money to get something, right? Uh, but today, okay, so let's get started, right? It's something very easy and simple. So for example, let's go and see what's in this week's um, squad building challenges, okay? So we've got... Uh, a Diego Costa and a Buffon, okay? So we'll go on Buffon. Let's take Buffon as an example, right? Um, what we're going to need, as you can see, the requirements, you know, there's, you know, we've got requirements for every squad building challenges. Uh, but obviously, the, the requirements for these uh, squad building challenges are certain players, right? In some of them, you get a lot of freedom as to what players you can put into these teams. But some of them, like this one, as you can see, it has to be in Serie A. Four players from Juventus and uh, most of all an overall ro rating of the team of 85 which means you need players that are high rated to you know uh, meet those requirements and there's only a certain amount of players that match that those requirements right so for example one can be Chiellini, Bonucci for your uh, defense or you can have Benega who is 84 rated and obviously everyone is going to start buying these players because they want to complete the squad building challenge and this is where the money comes into play so basically I'm going to show you exactly what I've done as you can see I've got 65k um, don't look at uh, Felipe Melo, he is obviously not part of this. But for example, I had the Serie A team and I sold Baka, Manolas, Benegan, and Danovic, as you can see on my transfer list. And they all sold, uh, you know, their uh, buy now price. So, for example, Baka I bought uh, for like 3k, and at the moment, before this squad building challenge came out, he was like 1.5k. I bought him a bit, uh, you know, some time ago, so it was more expensive. But I still made like 6k profit, taking the 5% off, but that doesn't matter too much. I still made, let, let's say, more or less 6k profit. So if everybody wants these players, so the people are going to list them for loads more money on the market, and people are going to buy them anyway because they need them if they want to complete that squad building challenge, obviously. Um, and then we've got Manolas, which I made a couple k from. Benega, I made a few k as well. And Handanovic, what an amazing profit I made on him. I sold them for... 20k nearly 21k and i bought him for like 8k that's more than double and once again i bought him a, a bit of times ago so he was more expensive but i had a look before the squad variant challenge came out he was like i don't know like probably four to five k something like that so it gone down in price you would uh, generally make even more profit and this is in this case, obviously. And as you can see, all these players are high rated, which is why, obviously, people are buying them. And I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to do anything. Now, this time, I was lucky because I had these players in my club, right? Um, and then I'm going to go and buy them back, obviously, when the squad binning challenge is out and the price is going to go down again on the market. Uh, and I was lucky because I had these. If you're even more lucky, you're going to have even more. If you're not as lucky, you won't have the players that, you know, um, are for that squad of being in challenge. You have to be a bit lucky that you have the players that, you know, are requested for that week squad bidding challenge. And I basically made, you know, like uh, 40k in the space of five minutes by basically just listing my players. Now let's go on backer again. So I, I sold them for 9.9. You see his price hasn't even changed a bit. Look at that. 10k is still is uh, buy now price, which is incredible. They don't even vary that much. I sold them yesterday and uh, the price has stayed the same today um, since this quarter building challenge is still in place. I thought maybe they'd go up even more but uh, apparently not. Uh, but what you can do as well if you don't have the players is you can try and snipe them. So you would gonna like to 9.8 and, and keep doing this searching for the players. Uh, you can go to 9.9 .9. but if, if you manage to buy like a bargain that someone maybe lists him uh, on the market for very low for a very low price uh, by mistake you can pick him up and sell him for an incredible profit um, and uh, obviously we don't always know the players that are going to come out you know what cards yeah you're going to put for these squad building challenges um, but for example we did kind of know that Buffon if, if you kind of inform yourself and you you know you get to know a bit uh, what's going on in the world of football you would understand, you know, Buffon did, got this card. Let's see, where is it? He got his this card because he, get, he got 600 uh, caps for, I'm not sure, to be honest, Juventus or maybe, I'm not really sure. Uh, but he got 600 caps, right? Um, and basically he got this card. This is Diego Costa who got the player of the month for the Premier League. I'm not sure. Probably if you go and search uh, requirements for the Diego Costa players as well, like Chelsea. I'm not sure what exactly... 
uh, what are their requirements are, but they've probably gone up in price as well. So you could do it, and you know, EA release one of these every week or so, even two per, per week. So if you're careful, you can manage to understand what cards may be coming out. So you can basically invest and buy them, and then sell them on forwards. Uh, when their squad bidding our challenges out, but you know these cards are gonna come around. We've got we've had the MLS, we've got loads of BPL all the time. Uh, we've had the, the Portuguese league. We've had basically you know everything is gonna come around eventually. I'm guessing. Um, so uh, you know keep an eye on this and uh, look at the plays you've got in your club and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. It's really incredible. Like this is so easy as well, and you can make mad profit. Imagine if you manage to do this for like a while, you're gonna make hundreds of thousands of coins, even maybe millions if you manage, you know, to time it perfectly. So yeah, that's it. It's awesome that, you know, EA and put new game modes and we find a way to make coins for it, which is amazing, new variety to the game. But yeah, that's all for me. It's been your boy Matt Eleven Gaming. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments down below for anything. It's been your boy Matt Eleven Gaming and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out. Bye.